Grigory Rasputin was born into a peasant family in Siberia, Russia, around 1869. For a time, it was believed his name Rasputin meant licentious in Russian. Historians now believe that Rasputin meant where two rivers meet, a phrase that describes an area near where he was born in Siberia. In his early years, some people of his village said he possessed supernatural powers. Rasputin claimed he was a man of God. He entered the Verkotcher Monastery in Russia with the intention of becoming a monk after a dream he had where supposedly God talked to him, but left shortly to get married. At the age of 19, he was most famous as a drunk and an adulterer, and not as a man of faith. This behavior was the main reason for him to be the most hated man in Russia. However, he left his family and traveled to Greece and the Middle East, making several pilgrimages to the Holy Land. In 1903, he arrived to St. Petersburg with a reputation as a mystic and faith healer. Two years later, he was introduced to Russian Caesar Nicholas II and his wife Alexandra, who were seeking help for their sickly son Alexis. Rasputin quickly gained their confidence by curing the boy of hemophilia. This action won him the support of Alexandra. Rasputin had visions and prophecies all his life, including his own death and the end of the royal family, which was revealed to be true. Shortly before his death, he wrote to Nicholas to predict if he were killed by government officials, the entire imperial family would be killed by the Russian people. And if he was killed by the comment, the royal family would live and rule for many years to come. His prophecy came true later, on the night of December 29, 1916, where Rasputin was murdered by Caesar's first cousin. Grand Duke Dmitry Pavlovich and Prince Felix after feeding him wine and cakes laced with cyanide. The poison seemed to have no effect. The conspirators finally shot him multiple times. He was then wrapped in a carpet and thrown into the Neva River, where it was discovered three days later. The second part of his prophecy came true 15 months later when Caesar, his wife, and all of their children were murdered by assassins amidst the Russian Revolution. <laughs>